We are one step closer to treating COVID-19 with something as simple as an over-the-counter drug. It's a pill that cut hospitalizations and deaths by about half in early trials. And today, pharmaceutical giant Merck asked the FDA to grant emergency use authorization to its antiviral treatment. This is a move that comes as COVID cases across the U.S. actually start to drop. The seven-day average falling below 100,000 for the first time since early August. Just over half of the population is fully vaccinated, and that number could grow as soon as the CDC decides whether or not the shot is safe for kids 5 to 11 years old. They're in the process of approving that now. News Nation's Allison Harris is joining us live tonight from Washington, D.C., with what all of this means in the fight against the pandemic. Allison. Yeah, Marnie, this is good news tonight on the COVID outlook. The possibility that more children could get vaccinated before the holidays and also that there could be new treatments that, if approved, could save more lives. Hospitalizations and deaths continue to decline as the country moves away from the summer surge and into a fall and winter that Dr. Fauci is optimistic about. Telling kids to go trick-or-treating this Halloween, saying it's especially safe for those 12 and up who can get vaccinated. Particularly if you're vaccinated, but you can get out there. Pfizer has asked the FDA to authorize vaccines for ages 5 to 11. If the FDA and CDC give the go-ahead, that rollout for children could come before Thanksgiving. This should be available almost immediately after the CDC makes a final recommendation and be available in pharmacies and perhaps pediatricians' offices as well. And tonight, there's major news for COVID treatments. Merck says it has applied for emergency use authorization for this red pill, which the company says would be the first oral antiviral medication for COVID and according to trial data cuts the risk of going to the hospital and dying by half for mild to moderate patients. The goal is to help people who are mild or moderate before they get severe and give them a pill versus a IV infusion. At the same time, AstraZeneca says it has an antibody cocktail that reduces the risk of severe cases and death by half in patients who have had symptoms for a week or less and are not hospitalized. AstraZeneca says it works even better in patients who get the therapy within five days of symptoms. The company does not have approval yet for its antibody shot, but it's similar to other therapies that have already gotten approved for emergency use in the U.S. Doctors say that these new treatments, as well as more people getting vaccinated, including children, could be a way out of this pandemic. Marnie? A way out, something we can all agree on. Allison, thank you.